how do you actually like to build that though? Like, do you just go everything you've got into Exhort so you can just rack up a lot more I'm not Sunstrike the, damage? Or? I'm really not the best Evoker player, so okay. I, I can't really say. I, I guess, yeah, I'm actually, I'm, I'm, quite, I'm quite clueless about that. That's fine. <laughs> to be completely honest. <laughs> That's completely fine. I'm not gonna we, give we people my Invoker expect, expertise. We don't expect anyone to be an expert in everything, so it's, <laughs> it's okay, man. It's okay. I'm an Invoker expert support yet, so that's why. Well, let's get into our game, so we'll see uh, our players roll out now for Fnatic. It will be Ohai who actually takes up the role of the Tusk guy here, so KYXY, he'll be into the role as Pug. Is he actually holding on to BZ? Yeah, he's actually got the the set which I think everyone owns now, because it's dropping for everyone with the compendium drops. Yeah. Uh, but he'll have BZZ's Pug set up and running. Uh, so Lashrak core, Mushi also into that core role, and that leaves Johnny as the final one, who's got a... What the hell is that Rubik set? It's awesome. Yeah. It I, is I, awesome. I what actually watching it. What is this? The Cape of the Cunning of wow. War? Like, how would you pronounce that? That's actually insane. It's the first time he used it because he has zero ultimate stolen, and I'm, I'd like to think that he already that like, he's capable of stealing an ulti in the fight. So it's probably the first time he used it. It's quite I, a new set, I guess. I'm loving that. I'm sorry, Kuro. I've now found a new Rubik set. So oh, yeah. they're trying to bait the bounty hunter into running. Like they, they can actually kill him, but unfortunately for them, he went bottom. I don't like. I don't know. They're gonna go safely. It looks like a fanatic. He's coming over. He's yeah. actually coming over, so this, this is their vision. They see Pylai die, uh, but Pylai also saw Johnny, as well as Mushi. Yeah, whatever. He they're knows something's wrong. He's fine. They're gonna play an off-lane Tusk. Uh, I didn't really get to see his laning potential, so I'm gonna... Like, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I actually get to witness this. But I don't know, I think the lanes now are a, a bit better for most part. I don't know why they would go try lane safe. They have this very good offensive try lane. Maybe they're just gonna do a roam with the Leshrac Rubik, which is also a good approach when you play versus Balni Honor. He's really bad at shutting down any form of, of aggression, so... Double bonnies on the support, on the mid players. Well, that makes sense. It does. Uh, Pala die. I kind of want to watch his movement here to see where he wants to attack, or if he's looking to block up some camps at the moment. Because, okay, th there's one Observer Ward. They've only got one Sentry Ward left here, but if they throw it down to D Ward, they're not going to be able to put uh, any wards in the lane. Yeah, the, the, the problem I see right now is that DK, he really wants his bottle fast, and right now there's no one to actually help him to get it there. Usually you have a support that stays there, and he just do he does the curious job, basically. But right now, no one's looking to do this. They're just trying to anti ward or whatever. So he's going to have to run there. I hope he doesn't stand it out. Like, he's going to have to it's run coming. there. It's coming. He has to it's know. It's coming. Oh, come on. With the bottle, and, well, okay. Oh, he's waiting. Pal right. doesn't know it's there. Like, he has right. no clue in the world. Rubik is going to do it. Yeah, he's coming over yeah, now. Yeah, they know. I mean, it, ha it happens so often that you don't, you don't get away with it nowadays, but you can, pr you know that they, they saw going to do this. Yeah. He actually, he uh, used Ghost Walk in this tree area, and it yeah. was visible. All right. So they 100% know the pilot die is there. Good play from Johnny. You have to do this, honestly. He's baiting him, maybe. What? Yeah, he's just, okay. <laughs> But yeah, it, 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 it's a good play, and I mean, it gives space to the offlaner a bit because then they have only one support zone out. But this last track is really good at zoning out as well, so it's quite fine. I, I'm, I'm kind of feeling though, like the lanes from Fnatic aren't as, aren't as scary as I thought they were going to be. Yeah. Like with a Rubik as well as Tusker, the roaming and ganking would be quite scary. But because you're from this Lashrakis now as a support hero, he's kind of always going to be next to the next to the Rubik. And Pylai is making sure that's really difficult because he's chasing down Johnny at the moment. Yeah, so he's already gone down to 270. They're making the bounty game quite good right now. Like what is Pylai is going to do? He's just going to disrupt the pools all the time. He's going to scout them, so they're not being they're not going to be able oh. to roam at all. Bulba, they're actually Bulba getting some stunts off. Yeah, with the Crypt Fire. As well as the Pug the Blast. They should have enough damage combining right. over the lining, but Bulba, still a very tanky oh, kind of guy, sounds right. up in the tree lines. Probably not happy that the South ended up getting cancelled, but still he'll survive. The duration of the Decrepify is very, very long right now. I mean, he got buffed as well a bit, so it's 3.5 seconds, so they probably weren't ready for this. The damage amplification also got a buff too, didn't it? Yeah, it, it did. The Decrepify is a very good spell. Now, usually you would ditch it a bit, but now it's actually worth getting. Um, yeah, but now the lanes, I mean, my problem with those lanes is that the Tusk is actually getting quite some XP, but they're not pressuring the guy at all when I think they could have if they had this triple offensive but whatever I mean they probably have a plan in mind uh, and also you when you play this type of lineup you really don't want to risk losing the lanes you don't want to we get our first answer for uh, for far, as far as build order goes for the invoker so black's looking for forge spirits it's like top lane snowball well this is protective for the moment but then There's again no you're crowd. moving up towards TC TC doesn't have enough mana to find anything else but the sun strike Ohio wow. down to 31 HP good one Really if, he had make, if he had one more extra point up in, in Exor, I think that it's actually a kill. Yeah, it, it would have been a kill for sure. Now middle lane, Mushi. Oh, Black doesn't have Call Snap available. Neither and the Force Spirits yeah. are not by this, so yeah. And he's got a haste on the 
track at night, you know, fighting a kill. That's very, actually, this is big. It's really huge that he has this face friendly. It's gonna allow him to play a bit more aggressive and get a bit more on this mid lane. Really nice haste to have, and you can see that he wants to hold on onto it. It's actually dodger gank. Yeah. So, some good gameplay from Mushi right there. You wouldn't expect less from a player like this anyway. Don't get deceived, everyone, that wasn't first blood. It was uh, just Tusker denying himself up to the Ancients to get back to base a little bit quicker. So even though it says 1-0 to Mouse Pause, that's not the case. Like, I'm not sure, I see that uh, Rubik, he's very poor, he's gonna stack a bit, and that's fine, but I feel like really, when you play versus Bounty Hunter, you wanna ignore him, you have to ignore him, because right now I feel, I think the Rubik is a bit too obsessed with the Bounty Hunter, that's how I feel. Because this Bounty level 1, now he's level 2, so it's a bit more scary, but when he's level 1, he's really not that scary. They're looking to secure the top rune. Oh, oh, the, the is waiting for a higher. Right. And he has the... No, he used the haste. He doesn't have it anymore. Yep. They're, they're on both sides of him. So the, the rune spawns up in two seconds' time. Mushi does this. have a stun available. They but the Force Spirit's coming in. And Mushi He's going to start to lose his armor if he's not careful. The Sunstrike, perfect oh, position. Yeah. Mushi gets hit by that with the Snowball. And Teletic to throw it back. Black is in a very bad position. But the Call Snap, so sawing up Mushi for the moment. And now Way2 arrives in the fight. Double stun on Ohio as well as Mushi. And he's in real trouble. Still trying to retreat. The Force Spirit's finally going to tie him out. And Still, no one dying until Pylai died. There's the first blood. It goes to Johnny, but Mushi did most of the damage work there. Yeah, the fight was very messy. I mean, the fact that Black didn't have Cold Snap invoked and he had Sunstrike was a big factor in them actually giving away the first blood. Good, uh, good game sense by Mushi to just stay around and be ready for, to get the mana for the Fire Breath. So, good first blood. The Rubik is still. He's gonna get some levels made, actually. That's very nice for him. Now that Mushi goes back to base. And yet, pressuring. That's what Pina does. He's just gonna pressure towers all the time. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. Except, I am kind of surprised about this. I know Lashrak, like, you always look for the lightning and the split earth because they're just so powerful these days. But it would have really been that bad to get one point up and eat it. I mean, you know, it's, it's, I think it's fine, but it's all when you play this Lashrak support, you're squishy. You don't really want to run into the tower, man. You, know, it's, you die from a couple of smells. They're looking for Deny. Oh, he's taking Jack. Well, they need to get the last up for this. The K way is why the tower's still gonna go down. Triple find Pugger's taking up the tower. The pylon dying. And he throws down another ward and the Dunce and the Mars. But the sound strike no! What a play. All of the protection in the world doesn't protect you from the Invoker. Amazing Sunstrike by Black. Amazing Sunstrike, honestly. That's that's three for three now if they got his Sunstrike, so yeah. he's thrown out. Very, very, very nice. But he's such a good Prediction. Invoker. Like, you remember his old days when yeah. he, like, when I say when he played for Mouse Sports the, the first time around, mm -hmm. and you'd run, like, this safe lane Exhort Invoker, and you combine it with, with disruptions and catches and all that kind of jazz, and his own, like, the only job was to farm and hit Sun Strikes. That yeah. was it. So he's got a lot of practice. No, oh, yeah, and he's quite good at landing them, honestly. I mean, obviously, when you send, when you land them with a setup, then it's not so hard, but <laughs> those Sunstrike were very, very good. Uh, I'm just surprised the mouse power didn't stack. What's really good about running this Beastmaster Gyro, Beast Offering Gyro carries that you can always stack with the boar when you're dire. Like, it's honestly very efficient. Yep. They, ha they didn't do it so much. They're going to start stacking now to give that Gyro a good game because a Gyro BKB is going to be the key factor for a mouse this game. When he gets, oh. If he gets a good time on BKB, and they can stop the aggression. They've got dust available. They know the Pylai die picked up that double damage rune. He's looking to go now on a mushy. But Black and Pylai, which one do they go on? They go for Black. The stun that's actually clicked on Pylai die. They have I haven't up the dust just yet, but now they will see Pardise back behind the nice tower. Kid. But that is going to be the Invoker dropping down. And that's a critical timing for him. That delays that hand of Midas he was very close to. Yeah, and this is really a timing you want to respect when you play with DK. This is very smart. If your DK is level 6, rotate to his lane, get a kill eventually if, you, if it's what you need to actually be able to pressure the tower. And then just get the tower. Yep. It's so efficient to gank. Like, gank, that, like when you play support and you want to decide how to paradise is all Is there a follow-up stun? <laughs> yeah, there is. Yeah, that's just a misplayer, but it, I mean, it happens. What I was saying is that when you're support and you're looking to rotate, just always think about what you're going to get out of the rotation. You know, you could have went up and killed the lion, for example, but it doesn't give you nearly as much as what happened in the mid lane. Because getting a mid tower that early is actually very good. Also, when you play versus that bounty, you get some items on the support so they can actually tank up and they, they're not just food for the bounty owner. So where does Fnatic go from here? You've taken two T1 towers before the seven minute mark. You're looking great for net worth, your yeah. DK's looking fantastic. Mm -hmm. Do you wait until DK has the Shadow Blade up and running and then go for more kills? Or do you just try and take the fight and push your top lane when Dragon forms up? You're not in a rush. I think you, you, you tank up with heroes, you keep on farming, getting good levels. Right now they're not, they, they can't, they, they don't have to feel pressured at all. Because sure the guy is going to farm a Yasha or whatever, but it doesn't do so much. If you can actually pressure when he's going to try to get 
get like for example the engine stack and stuff like this then it's okay I think right now they can just sit sit back and farm and wait for the timings be patient wait for the next dragon form wait for a good opportunity I think right now yeah they just have to calm down a bit they got the objective this objectives they wanted to get the game is going looking really good for them right now yeah well, let's see if it's going to continue, right, as uh, Bulba. He always had a little bit of pressure towards this tier 1 tower on the bot lane. Yeah. Ahai is the only one up on top, then mouse bots, okay, so it's an 8 minute Midas over on black. I'm not going to say that's bad timing at all. Uh, it's just 30 seconds behind where he could have been before. As, uh, well, there's the track, oh, War, really Sunstrike, Pardise right behind him, and Debbie does not survive long. Kway's way able to get to Crepify up, but really, he's the only man down here underneath his own tier 1 tower. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it was just... You can't really, I mean, the Beastmaster is like creep skipping, so he's obviously not alone. And really, they shouldn't underrate the burst damage that Mouse has to global. But this Sunstrike does a lot. Yeah, they got an opening TC, but Mushy he triggers the Dragon Form, but TC's too quick. He's got face boots available. Yeah, good uh, good uh, reaction from TC, instantly turn around and run away. But I mean, they do have a lot of damage now. With the Roar plus the Wild Axis plus the 300 pure damage coming with, like, out of the Sunstrike. They need to, he can't run around like this with the left strike. He has to be, he has, he needs backup at every moment. Yeah. So most part right now, they're just gonna try to split push, probably abandon the towers and get the kills they can get. They, yeah, I think it's also what they have to do for this game. They need the BKB on the guy row. So it's just trade time. Yeah, it is. And until they get their items up, it's just trade time before they take a fight. And my concern with the Fnatic lineup is that they don't really have that hero that can actually punish trades. You know, they just have this Pugna and DK, they run around, they're quite slow, but they're not really mobile. So they will get the trades they want to, or they will farm for this. That's why a Shadow Blade on DK it doesn't sound so bad in this game. But he's gonna go directly for the BKB. It looks like it. But he could yeah. also, some DKs, what they do, they buy this Ogre Axe, and then they surprise you with a Shadow Blade. You know, you're like, he's oh, going BKB. And because you're thinking it's gonna be the Silver Edge completely. Yeah. And then but does the Silver Edge even help you up against any of the line from Mouse Balls? Like, you can take away the Beast Aura, but... Yeah, but I mean, even if you really don't use the Silver Edge effect, it's still a good item. Like, you have the Shadow Blade, the Sand, you wanna get it, the Maim, the Tankiness. Yep. It's still okay to get. It's, it's more about the Shadow Blade than the Silver Edge, I feel, but... Uh, yeah, now they're gonna move bottom again, yeah. but they're different. This, this, this DK is not, he's not gonna die to a gank. I he, he, has, he has an Invis rune, so yeah. the chance of them actually killing him off is even lower. And but look at Ohio, with the they're ready for this. With the cold down, like that's possible. Yeah, Ohio can smoke. actually just snowball in and pull him in inside the snowball. Yeah. So there's the roll. Here comes your snowball, Sunstrike, right on top of Mushy. Oh, he's not okay. close enough to pick him up. So you've already got Mushy down for the count. Ohio's in a little bit too deep. Support's rotating in from behind. But how long is it gonna take to get here? Not long. KOX White dropping down the nether one. They find way to in the tree it's line. Easy. Kill him off quickly, Bulber and TC yes, both and TPing out, oh and they're all quick and they're all able to do it in time. Super worth it for Mossport. Great move uh, in the end. I don't know, they were ready for it, Fnatic, but it looked like, I don't know if he misplayed or he couldn't get it off. I'm not sure, I'm not really sure about this noble belt, but in the end, super mm -hmm. trade for Mossport. Uh, I think he was, really in, I think was in range of one of the heroes, which was the primary thing. Okay, yeah. Then they really, like, they did not, uh, like, Achieved the move they wanted to achieve. It's unfortunate. During this time, Bounty he got he got level six. He, he look at this. He's been farming like 15 CS top lane, free XP. This is very good for Mossport. And they got a kill on the DK for a lion. That doesn't mean anything. So great, great trade for Mossport. Yeah. Well, that's that level six you're talking about. Yeah, it is. It's gonna do a lot. He's just gonna be able to scout them all the time and know. And as I said, since their heroes are really not mobile, oh. we're gonna know what's up all the time. This could be really big right now. The TP's yeah. on the way in, and they get Slayton almost done with TC. Yeah, Follow up, Ohio. He's got a whole bunch of bubbles, so TC basically does a barrel roll. So no all virtually drawn. Yeah, oh, where okay. is that Sunstrike? No, they're healing up Ohio. Yeah, that's right. He's got more than enough life. He had one charges as well. Good in this room, and that's what a Shadow Blade will do for him. You know, like, it's gonna give him a lot of kills if he gets it. I think it's a really good pick, honestly, right now for the DK. Uh, if, I don't think he has to complete the BKB unless they want to brute force like really hard, which they Th could they try to. They may do so. Like they're about to finish the mech. In fact, is that? Yeah, they haven't finished the mech on KOXY, but they're pretty damn close to it anyway. They could actually try to brute force. I mean, why not? They can actually go for base if they want to. Well, what's Mouse going to do to stop them? That was one thing we were saying during the draft. Like, what D push does Mouse have? Not so much. Like, they have harass, harass on the heroes. Like, they have the cooldown. I don't know some sun strike. They don't have a lot of D push. That's my issue with it. But the bounty hunter he does a lot of damage to heroes. I don't know, I think most oh, can try to fight. Johnny's in a little bit of trouble, they're gonna finger him down. Bulba still actually very, very stranded. He wants to TP out, the Breath finds a bubble with the horse hurt. That nether blast up at level four. Bulba loses his own life, but is there any kind of any kind of sacrifice from Fnatic? Because they did TP themselves out of the middle lane. Paradise behind Ohio. 
Vert, they're actually away to safety. They'll yeah. get some vision here, so Pardai will get a track off. But that's going to be all they get. I mean, they, they did that play now three times in a row, and it's been, I mean, twice at least that Fnatic falls in the trap. So they really need to, they're very disciplined at defending the towers, which is always a good thing, but you, you, you shouldn't over defend or however, however you want to call it. Like, if you feel that they're actually ready to take the tower and there's a lot of reinforcement, then just let the tower go and actually go for your play because you're going to waste a lot of time. Right now they didn't push the tier 2 tower and they used the DK form, so it's going to be up in 10 seconds, but still, it buys time for the guy to just farm up. Bushy. Completely tracked up, but he knows this. That's why he's moving away from the rest of his team. He's very under farm with the guy. I, I, I feel like he could have, I don't know, he's probably afraid of ganks a bit, and he died once, but he's very far from any sort of item, which is a bit scary for Mossport, I think. It's kind of fair enough, though. Like, you, you've got you've got so many different ways you can be initiated on as the gyrocopter. And what have you got really as a defense item? Now you got wand, and you've got a little bit of strength yeah, up your sleeve. Yeah, right. no. And he's gonna die again. Yeah, up on the top lane, in comes the snowball. They do want to use the walrus punch and all the other stuns, but TC won't have time to TP out this one, so it doesn't matter. The chain stuns still work. Jara gets controlled. And he drops for uh, another time. This is now his second death for the game. Yeah, very good kill and a very aggressive ward also from Fnatic. Like, come on, faded right now, but they have a lot of vision on the Gare when he just goes and farms the jungle. And the bottom play, this time around, both was alone, so he's just gonna back off. Yeah, this is Fnatic not wanting to lose a single tower. I wish he's gonna die though. If he, he if he eats the roar and the lion is there and the sunstrike, I'm pretty sure he could mm, actually. Enough, he's got four see. points up in dragon blood and 13 one charges. Yeah, he's very very tanky. Now he might not die actually. No, he won't. He won't. Never mind me. Yeah. I think Mouse Spots have also done the calculation. They're yeah. looking at this as like it's. I don't yeah. think it's possible. No, he yeah he wouldn't die from this. What is Pugna getting? He bought an he item. Back. Did he buy an item? He bought he bought the mech. Right, okay. This is what makes me think that like, it's just a fault. That's why the BKB makes more sense too. They can just brute force everything. You got a mech behind you. You got double arcane boots. You got earned charges. You have You got everything you want. It's okay. So it's either a kill on bottom, or they're looking at a wall draw. I think they're like they're done with the bottom split push. They're just gonna backstab them and try to get as much kills as, as they can, and then just go for the tier two towers. Can they reach him in time? Oh, higher. They're gonna get it's, uh, it's ball time or it's shard time. Oh. It's shard time, but they push Bulba into the tree line, but then snowball in and Bulba down for the count. Tony steals a hawk. This is never a bad thing. No, it's a very good thing actually. I think it's very good for them. They, he didn't lose gold on the Beastmaster. He just bought the Necro One or whatever he had. This, this is the tier two tower gone. Yeah, it is. And you can see Mossport instantly. They get ready to split push mid and good TP from the Tusk. As long as he doesn't show, he could even show. Honestly, they're so strong that they don't care. Good TP. They just make sure they don't. They're very disciplined at defending the towers, which I I, I like a lot. Oh. Shard defense. Black can't force the issue. And, and the Necro units are already gone through like one third of their life. Yeah. And Fnatic can just TP back and defend this anyway. The full BKB actually just flew in as well for the, for the DK. Uh, so he's got the immunity available. Uh, they're really going all in. They're just going to push base quite soon. They're going to push base quite soon for sure. Do, you, do they need anything else though? Like you've already got the mech available. No, you don't need anything. You, you can just go already, honestly. And I mean, you're probably not going to be able to push in one push, but you're going to damage the tower a lot. You're going to pressure, you're going to force them to TP there and be there to defend, which is a good thing. I mean, as long as they're not farming, then it's actually good for you. What has Mass really got to defend? Because you don't have like, you don't have uh, Tornado EMP for the Invoker. Yeah. See that you got a Lion Stun, you got a Cooldown and Flat Cannon, and you got Peacemaster Axis. But again, whoever gets close to the Creep Wave is going to get like ice shards by the Tusk. Or they're gonna go up way too far. Remember, he's still got the BKB, yeah, BKB, and he's got a lot of friends behind him. But he just used the BKB to run away. That's a 10-second BKB burn. Yeah, it's it's good for Mossport. They just and you see they have the guy farming and, and the BM farming. So that's three heroes actually pressuring five heroes, just because they they saw that the DK was a bit too far. Uh, I, don't, I don't think their fanatic really can. Like they're getting massively tracked up. Yeah, but I think. But they just take the tier two tower. Right now, both teams are, are, are happy with, with, with what's happening. I mean, most sports they know this is gonna happen, right? From the, from the draft, they could also tell it would happen at some yep. point. So the, it's fine. You can see they're farming with two heroes. This is completely fine for them. Sure, they lose a tier two tower, but. No oh, one really cares. Roar on bottom lane, but the triple yes, TP is on the The sun strike will connect as well. It's a finger nice of death, but he's surviving yeah, he's just long enough. But the necro units were still there. He's gonna die with that as well. Yep. They move around and, and bomb off. Well. Even with a hex on Johnny, there's no way to get oh, back into lame. the trees where he thinks he's safe. But he's not just a double kill for Black. And um, now Sports causing real problems for the Malaysians. This is the story of this game right now. Honestly, they're just forcing a defense that they can't take, or they're not doing it. You know, like they're just porting in one by one, and they're dying one by one. This is the best. 
situation Mouse could get in this game, honestly. And regardless of farming, it's looking super good for Mouseport. And Fnatic, it's not so bad if they lose this one tower. They don't have to defend that tower so much, you know? Like, I don't think it's such big of a deal. Uh, but anyway, now it's kind of late. Now it, fall, it felt anyway, so... Fnatic is going to be a bit frustrated with those moves because it delays their push by a lot. Look at this, now they have Necro 3 on Invoker and they're going to have it on Beast soon, so it means that Mouseport actually pushes as fast as Fnatic does right now. Do they have, do they have enough damage, Mouseport, to get themselves into Roshan and take it out? They do. They with do. Force Burst, Necro units? Invoker, he can solo Roshan right now almost. Like, they have enough damage, definitely. And they can sniper. It's actually a very good play for them to snipe the Rosh. When, and they have this tier 2 top, you know, that Fnatic will go, like, they will go and try to get it at some point. So so Maus can just apply pressure on Roche if they're positioned well and if they ward around Roche, which they, which they did. So it's probably something they have in mind as you uh, it's just, predicted. Yeah, there, there was a ping that came out from Pugner at the same time. So they will... Fnatic are going to be aware of this. But it's just so difficult. Like You've almost got two level 3 Necro books over on Maus before the 20 minute mark. Yeah, no, for, I, I, for a team that's lost every outer tower apart from one and taken one in return, they're still finding so much money with the hand of Midas over on the Invoker. Yeah. And the Beastmaster who got farm in his lane. Yeah, and now they know that Fnatic was top and they go for Roche instantly. But Fnatic, they were ready for this. They know that it's going to happen. Right, he's gonna and they break smoke the smoke. themselves. So I think Paladise no, post off, he's actually going to break the smoke. It's gone anyway. It's gone. Really play by Mouse. Really, honestly, they're playing this game perfectly right now. They did, like, maybe they gave up some kills at some point, but so far, so good, honestly. I think their game plan is very, very solid. And they're, just gonna move they're just going for the tier 2. Yeah, they're just going to make them run around. That's what they're going to do. They're just going to make them run. And they have the Hawk. This is, when you play with Beastmaster, that's why the hero is so strong. Like, he fixes split push by himself. Like, they know everything that's happening, so they're always one step ahead. Now they know that they disengage, so they go back instantly, you know, you don't have this, like, moment where you're like, I'm not sure if they actually TP'd back or not, they know. Yep. So they just instantly go back to farm. With with the grand total of, like, I think it was three seconds that those Necro units and balls were hitting the tower, yeah. they removed 50% of the tower's life. The pushing potential is insane. This Beastmaster Necro 3 and Invoker Necro 3, it's, they push so fast right yeah. now, and they're gonna get boots of travels on both heroes. And honestly, I don't think the Fnatic lineup can deal with this. Uh, DK Shadowblade could have, but right now they have really bad heroes. Well, there's, there's no, like, you also be careful with the DK Shadowblade. You never know when these Necro units will be popping up. And, no, of course. And, and if Mouseports are pushing, they've already triggered the Necro units. But at least it applies pressure on Mouseport. And it's also the Shadowblade versus the Hawk. Like, because the thing with Beastmaster when you play with Beastmaster is that you always, like, you always um, consider that you actually have all the information. But when you play versus heroes such as Bounty, Nyx, you know, Invis heroes, then actually you go for kills that you think are secured but they're not because they're actually there with Invis people so I really like the Shadow Blade versus the Beastmaster in general but in that case he didn't go for it he might get it now though it's not it's not um, it's not bad to get it now interesting to see that uh, I wasn't really expecting this from Black to get a blink dagger this early on yeah I guess it's nice to have the jump in initiation but more more, split more often well. like he's, he's a split push yeah, he's, yeah, he's a split push kind of guy but he's also this I just take up so you can't kill me during a fight kind of guy too yeah. the evoker but I think the Bleeding Dagger is also scary. He can just push with the Forge Spirits, instantly be on a wave, Necro 3. He's just gonna go for trades all the time. You can see, now, look, what is Fnatic gonna do? Like, they're using five heroes to take to the tower, and yep. Mouse is using two heroes to do the same. And but they the might be able to kill up block. This is the upside. That Guns kill. come in, but oh. no! He can blink up too One second, no. it's too long. It's too long, and they trigger the dust, so Ghost Walk won't be able to help him either. So he triggers his Necro units. What was done is actually Ghost Walk damage. stole him. They have to keep more distance here. The Sigil's down, but Ohio, he's dying so quickly, and more squads nice. arriving in the finger of death. Way to arise for the stun. That was with his fresh blink Look dagger. Bull, 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 bull. We'll find another one. They're gonna dive this. Can they do it? There's yeah, your Aurora KOX flying. Hold them as well. He's in too close. They both drop to the gyrocopter. And you've also got the track. He missed the sun on Bulba. He's got lightning damage, but TC runs away. The edict that pops oh over was enough because she pulled him into the snowball, which stopped the last tick of damage into TC. And all they burst the you can see Mortal of Black. But get the follow-up stunts. Black, can they get him out of this one? The answer is no. He'll end up dropping down. But what did you really sacrifice here as Mouse Boss? It was your top one, sure. But in return, you got a buyback from the Tusker and you got three kills. This well, is three kills on, in total. Yeah, this is still okay for Mossport. They're just because right now this is when Fnatic should actually be able to pressure most. They're not. Mossport is actually not pressure. Oh, what what is Mossport gaining for? He's got three point five k gold. I don't know. Honestly, I think he should get a shadow bleed or a, a bling dagger. He needs something. He needs to kill the rat. Yeah, blink. All right. Yeah, no, he got the bling. That's the pickup. They need mobility, you know, they lack mobility a lot. Like they're just running around with the Pugman and the DK with BKB and that's never gonna work in this game. 
so they need to be able time to too. catch them. Yeah, they really need something like this. I think Blink, Blink is a very good pick up for them. The Valise got the vision to do it. Like, you look over at the uh, Dire Jungle, they've had an Observer and Sentry, which only just timed out now. I like what Watch, Watching this area, so they're watching Paradise movements pretty closely. They're gonna deward everything now. Yeah, now the Necro units just do the work. This is great. So, who, who even needs a gem for mouse spots when you've got level 3 Necro units? Yeah, and I mean, Gary was getting his BKB soon. He did not clear the. Oh, he did clear the instance, never mind. When Gary gets a BKB, the game gets even harder for the Fnatic side. They, yes. they found all the ops. Yeah, it's not looking so good for Fnatic. They're gonna try to go mid. This is what they have to do, honestly. They need to start pushing base, like getting some damage done. Maybe if most sports actually fail in one of those fights, they're gonna lose right instantly. So that's the good thing of the Fnatic lineup. But I feel that if they delay the game for too long, it's gonna become really hard. Man, you're getting TC with a BKB. It's like. Yeah. How are you even meant to do damage? Like so, so much of the damage does come from the magical output. You're not looking at physical damage from Fnatic. So yeah. once this immunity starts arriving for, for heroes like Gyrocopter, you're not even running a helm with the Dominator, but it's still... Gyro There's so always, much coming their way. It's also a very good hero to deal with heroes like Pugna or Undying or Phoenix or whatever because you can go for this like Pugna Ward or the Tombstone and still like do a lot of damage with the Flag Cannon. You know, it's not that carry that's actually used it for a few seconds because he has to kill something yep. like a Ward or or a Tombstone. So Gyro is quite good at dealing with those heroes. Also, he's a BKB carrier. Uh, like uh, he wants to get a BKB very early, and that's really what you need versus Pugna. I should flag the fact that, uh, as I do see the timer, uh, Roshan's going to spawn one minute out of the three minute potential time. Yeah. So it's four minutes, and or just under four minutes now, before Roshan's going to be back up for mouse spots. I know they have boots of travels on the Beastmaster. Honestly, it's looking very good for mouse sport, I have to say. Uh, Fnatic can still win this, obviously. They have a lot of... Uh, they have really this lineup where you, you fail once and you lose Rex. But um, if you don't fail... I think, like, mouse sport is in command right now. Yeah. We'll see if they can hold on to it. Yeah. For now, Paladine is trying to get as much information as possible. It's going to fly over the top of the tree line and the sentries, but if they smoke for this, like they might just drop a sentry oh, ward. Yeah. Uh, Paladine is tracking him and, and blinks himself away. Yeah, that's good. He also put down an observer ward that's watching the courier movement up towards that secret shop. They so he so sees much. everything that runs at him. They have so much map control with the Beastmaster and the Bonnie Hunter running around tracking people. It's, it's one of those games, you know, it's very frustrating for Fnatic to play this game right now. Because they're you feel like you can't watch. Yeah, exactly, and you can't really catch them. You're just getting guided all the time. And look at bottom. Yeah. That's, that's what can happen, you know. Every time someone is out of position or alone, yeah. What she there. said. Yeah. Is it worth the cooldown? Nah, you got a sun strike and rock barrage. That's more than enough damage. That's yeah. Hon yeah. I don't know. I don't know what they can do against this. Honestly, the only way is to actually bait them into. But you have zero map control. Everything is dewarded. The bounty hunter is tracking people. But you can basically five man Dota it, but. That also works for mouse balls now, doesn't it? Because you got you got cooldowns, you got roars, you got stuns, you got blink daggers. So you you'll just be kiting them back the entire and time. You've got a new one, which is Johnny getting fingered down by Lion. It's it's really problematic. It's a very impressive performance from Mouseport. I mean, the way they play the game is very smart right now, and they're doing it quite well. I have to say. Uh, they're doing it quite well. I felt Kojva was a really big asset for them because he's quite good at split pushing as well. But, yeah. but it's, like, like it's like they drafted the, the comfort zone. Like you, no, get a, yeah. you get an Invoker for Black, you get a Gyrocopter for TC. Yeah. Like you, you, couldn't get, you couldn't actually have drafted two more comfortable heroes on mouse sports unless you couldn't get away with an anti-major Black. That yeah. was it. No, the Invoker pick was really, really nice and very smart. I, I liked it a lot and it's, it's working. Curious be dead? Curious not be dead. Tracks on KYXY and Paladin doesn't want a bar of this. But it's like, even if the bounty dies at this point, it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't do anything, you know? It's just... I don't know what Fnatic needs to salvage the game. They need to take this super good team fight. Where they have also a really good lineup. Like, they can actually win fights, although they're playing from behind, but... I don't know. Right now, it's really snowballing for Mossport. Look at Fnatic. They're just stuck under the towers because they feel they can't really run around together, like, alone. Huh? Wait, you, you managed to find a deep ward, and the second you do that... You get tracked. Yeah, no, exactly. It's so it doesn't even matter. Yep. And, they they're, need and they're sitting right underneath. Oh, oh wait, they, they don't have smoke on them. No, also, I also wondered this with Mushi. He bought the recipe for the Assault Cuirass as opposed to picking up like the plate mail. So he bought chainmail as well as the recipe. So at this point, he's not getting any use out, out of this money that he spent. No, yeah, he, he's not. They got a game now, which is very good. They need the game. I think they needed it a bit earlier, but whatever. What's done is done. Now they have the game, and they're going to be able to get a bit of map control for themselves. And maybe catch that bounty hunter as well. But uh, yeah, again, uh, he's going to be really hard to catch. Also, he's going for this blink four staff build, which is quite good when you're ahead. Black's finished a full BKB. It's... I, I, 
don't know, I don't know yeah, how Fnatic are meant to push into gosh, this. Yeah, this is this is really tough for them. It's really hard. Um, okay, let's sit down and tear your curve. Like, what can they actually do at this stage? I don't know. I feel like they have to take some clutch fights. They like, shouldn't. It's, it's like the only thing I think they can do is sit inside their base, wait for the tracks to wear off, and then smoke up and move out. Yeah, but I mean... But that, I that's it. Like, yeah. you, you've got nothing else. It's, they need to go for a kill close to base then, so they can actually... But I mean, right now, of course, they have buybacks. They have... They have split push. It's also, you know, this beast invoker, when they see they're actually losing the fight, they can just port it somewhere else, like to the other side of the map, and just push themselves. And, like, they have a lot of uh, options, you know, uh, the mouse for Lano. Mushi's walking over, he blinks away pretty quickly. A Roshan fight could do, could yeah. do a lot of good uh, for Fnatic. I mean, if mouse will actually go for the rush, but yeah, again, they don't have to. The right play for them is to actually delay Fnatic if they go for it. But going into the rush and taking the fight there is the wrong move for mouse They don't have to. They, just, they can just keep on playing how they play, and they're gonna uh, they're gonna win if they if the game keeps on going like this for them. It's very it's very very promising. Yeah. Well, we'll see if they can keep it up for now, Fnatic. They're just battening down the hatches, but it's still like a lot of water they're taking on. 10,000 in the gold and experience is the advantage for Mount Sports at the moment. Yeah, it's quite tough. And they're just waiting for the right time to go into Roshan. The Sigil is keeping very close tabs on Roshan, but okay, now the observers are also watching way too, as well as Black jump in. Now Pylai die, like they're seeing all the movement around the front of the Rosh pit. Yeah, but, really but with like three blink daggers on mouse spots, can you even stop them from taking Roshan? I mean, if you're there, you can, and I'm pretty sure, to me, it's the best chance that Fnatic has. It's to actually take a Rosh fight and try to come back from this, because they can actually, in a 5 on 5 situation, I'm pretty sure they can do okay. And if they outplay mouse board, or, you know, there there's a way where they can actually win a fight. But if the game keeps on going like this, then I don't see them winning this game. So, that's why I feel like mouse board, they really don't have to do this. They can just, it's good to be around the and just punish them if they go for it. Some smoke move where they want to catch the Beastmaster top or something, and then you just go into Roche. But here it is. This is what they shouldn't do, in my opinion. This, this is the moment right now. Well, you can't. <laughs> You may not want to happen. Mush isn't even here. Oh, Neither yes, is Pylite right. Dive, but they found TC. He'll BKB up and then just rip apart Ohio with that Rocket Barrage. The Nether Ward might be down for now, but the cooldown's already doing its work. Ohio will die to the secondary rocket. It is for the cost of the line, and KYXY will TP himself away to safety. But meanwhile, back in the Rosh pit, Black's finishing the job. Yeah, never mind. I didn't see that, actually. The DK wasn't there, so it was a really good rush. I thought there were five there with smoke, but yeah, good play. I mean, that's all the thing. Mush is running around with all the TP, so it was really easy for them to get it. Pilot Eye is such a dick. Yeah, he's, really, he's, he's really everywhere. Really just yeah. track after track after track. Yeah, he's really watching them all the time. That's his job right now. He's just, he's just giving information to his team all the time, and it's very hard to play versus this. If that, you that's why Mouse went for the fight, because like, he, he was battling with DK. Like, he was at the secret shot with the DK. He tracked him up and then blinked away. Yeah. It's those moves, when they actually try to defend towers, they end up dying, delaying their push, and they end up losing the towers. Those moves were game-winning for Mossport. They really were. This tier 1 tower, bottom, lost the game for Fnatic. Pilot I sees the courier. The Hawks giving him the vision. They're actually TPing onto the courier, so the bomber yeah, no, yeah, can yeah. kill off the courier. And that's actually quite big, because it was only another 100 gold, I think. Yeah. Well, there's 50 gold mushy, he needed to kill off the centaur, and he had enough for the hyperstone, which would finish his assault Kuras. Yeah, no, they don't have a, they're not going to have AC for the next few minutes, so quite big for Mossport again. And he's going to get... Well, what is he getting on Invoker? I saw some Invokers getting Octarine. I, I don't know. Is, um, it, is it still worth thinking Octa Ring Core over something like an Aghanim Scepter? Yeah, that's what I think. I mean, I, I, again, I'm really not that Invoker player, so I don't know. It's, it was the buff up too, because if he starts getting more points up and it works, then you get the Deafening Blast upgrade. Yeah. So you do. Yeah, I'm actually not sure yeah, how good it is, but I think that Boost of Travels is definitely what he wants to get right now. Oh, yeah. And just being able to have this map. We have like, TC. Presence. TC's going for... Wait, is that Scardi? Yeah, we're getting a Scardi on a Gyrocopter. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of the Scardi on that hero, but he just wants to tank up, which is fine. I mean, if he doesn't die with the first initiation that DK stone, if he just survives this, then he BKBs and nothing can touch him anymore. Yeah. So it's fine actually to tank up. He could have went for some Lincolns as well, or maybe it's Lincolns. I don't know. He just wants to survive the first goal, and then he's he, he's oh yes, it's quite never mind. Yeah. So he's just tanking up, which is fine. And now he's probably gonna get some satanic or whatever. Something, something with life deal. It's very unusual to see a Jarrah couple of 32 minutes in with this much farm without having, like, even just a morbid mask. Yeah, usually he, they do because they want to be able to farm jungle. Yeah, well, well, yeah, you stack up the camps with the helm of the Dominator. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, it is a very good pickup on the hero. I mean, right now the game, the game is very tough for Fnatic, and they obviously know that they're not going to end the game anytime soon, so they're going to go late game as well. And they don't have weak heroes. I mean, Pagna is a very strong late gamer, although he's also very good early game, but he's very scary in the late game as well. Um, left track support can transition into a core if he has Bloodstone and he starts farming. DK is carrying in the late game. Obviously. Oh, they found an opening as KYX. So the Sun Strikes on the way, but he's being beat, beat up, and it doesn't matter. Yeah. You can't run away from would you believe a Scarlet you know, Gyrocopter when you got BKB immunity. But that's the thing with the Mossport lineup. It's very balanced. They have this a lot of physical damage, a lot of magical damage, anti BKB spells. They have whatever they need. They don't care about like BKBs or the Grapifies, or they always have an answer to those spells. So. Very balanced line up. And they can go even further now. The Necro books are still available from Black. In fact, he's going to trigger them. Yeah, they're coming up. They're coming for the tier 3 towers for the shards. Well, it takes out one of the Necro units, which does drop Ohio again. down to half of his life. I think that was originally the plan. But he has no port. And he has a DD on the DK, so that could be a big factor. That could be... He could get a lot done with that DD, but right now the Pugna's dead. He has no buyback. I would also watch for Mushi. Lions in the perfect position for it. Way too waiting for the jump in, where he can just basically take Mushi out of the fight before he gets the BKB up. And Mushi, in comes that snowball, they go on TC. The where is that jump? Way too, he did get it close, but no stunts, no hexes. They get the call down, down. Ohio, low on life, but he'll survive through this. They burn the Aegis, the immortal, and TC, no, the BKB comes up. The strike is dead the world with a rocket barrage. They take care of it as well. Sigil nice jump out on Bulba. The That's roars good. back off cooldown now. Bulba can turn around, controlling up Mushy. They and way too jumping on this one too. The sun on the Mushy. Meteorite dropping down. They're all burning way too. Still no finger of death. He actually gets drained out by the by KYXY with the extra help from the snowball. They buy some time, but TC needs space to escape from KYXY, and there just isn't enough for it. The extra sun of Bulba. Ohio's on the tail of this one. And they even the shards. It blocks Black in, so he has to stick around and fight. But do they have enough power to die away from the sun? They do have the vision. Him and at least with the Nova, uh, with the Pulse Nova, they're able to get through him. The Black stands its ground as KYXY with an ultra kill. The Black in the Invis, but it's not enough to survive. The Lashrak will finish him off. Mouse get wiped, and the one man to survive is a Lashrak. No buybacks from either team, yeah. but nine heroes dead in the engagement. Well, they, they, they shouldn't turn. They couldn't fight this, and you could tell it. Like, when they don't have their BKBs, I think they kind of, like, this is a bit of lack of respect towards Fnatic's lineup. They have insane burst damage. This Lashrak when you don't have your BKBs, you, you can't, you can't fight this, right? Not right now they can't. They had the nick with their necros on CDs, the BKB CD on the Gyrocopter, sure, I mean, they're quite farm and they do a lot of damage, but still, I think that was huge for Fnatic. They got so much out of it, I mean, the, the, the Pugna, he got a, like, he got like 3k gold, they got 3k gold on the Lesh Shrek. He, fin he finished his soul booster with that. That Lesh Shrek is a core now, he's level 16, he has like 10, 9 bloodstone chargers, he has 3k gold. You know, so it was insanely good for Fnatic. So you've actually got two Bloodstones now for Fnatic. You've got the Assault, Assault Curiosity yeah. for, for the DK. Uh, even the Telscar is entertaining the fact of having a Vladimir's offering picked up for his team. Yeah, it was a really, really good fight. And Mallsport definitely overextended, but whatever. It's still, they're still completely in control. The Black is going to get a Nocturne, it looks like. Unless it's a Bloodstone, but I don't think it's going to be a Bloodstone. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. he's going Refresher on the Beastmaster. Very good pickup as well. The Gyro, we don't know what he's getting. Yeah, the next Roche is going to be uh, very important in this game. Now it's going to be important and it's going to be contested by both teams. Um, I think Fnatic, honestly, they came back right now. They might be back in the game somehow. It still doesn't fix what was the problem in this game for them, which is the split pushing and that they're actually bad at dealing with it. But now they have some good laning potential. They have double bloodstone on, he on, on heroes. That's very scary to play against. Is, is this the time though where you'd be worried that Fnatic would have so much confidence they do what they're doing right now? Will you five men group up and you think maybe you can go high ground against Mouse? No, I don't think they can go high ground. I think it would be a, very, a terrible mistake for them to go high ground. Mouse boards, they should have buybacks on heroes and everything. I think I don't know, they're actually going for it. Yeah, they're coming. That's that's, okay. that's why I started asking you the question if this is a good idea because I think Fnatic believe it is. I, I think, think it's scary, but they're coming up. Let's see. The Nether Ward's down black. There's your EMP tornado. Gonna burn out a little bit of mushy as well as yeah. KOXY. Mainly mushy. KOXY is actually fine. I don't know how they can push this high ground. I don't think they can. They're completely visible too. Paladine was able to get one track up before this fight even began. Yeah. And look at Mouse. They're like, they actually want to go on them. That's how confident they feel about taking that fight. So both teams are really confident right now, which is a bit awkward. Obviously, one of them is wrong. No, they're just gonna back off. Maybe they just want to force Mouse back to the base, but you can see that Mouse is very... Like, they're not under pressure. Like, TC never tp It was it stayed bottom. They're like, they're fine. They, they, they don't... They also don't don't see how Fnatic can actually break base right now. They're in control and they know and they understand it, so they play accordingly. Yeah, it's just a... Uh 
good position for him. They're going to hold it for the moment, though, as uh, Mouse spots. What are we looking at for the timer? We, we won't know for another 50 seconds. Unfortunately, I missed the countdown timer, which told us when. But I think right now they should keep on farming, Fnatic. They should really keep on farming, I think. This is not the time, the, their time to shine. They should. They can contest the next Roche. The problem with their lineup is what's really problematic, I think, is that they can't actually snipe Roche. They can't. And it's a bit annoying for them because it would be a good pay to actually snipe it and pressure Maus to actually be in that area. But Maus can do whatever they want. And yep. they have really good heroes to scout Roche as well. So Fnatic, Fnatic have no choice to, to but to, but to farm because they have no smokes. Yeah. So two and a half minutes. So yeah. Yeah. Exactly. No. Right now they they have to farm and I I don't know maybe the Leshak is gonna get a BKB or something but I think he could even go for greedy items right now because it's gonna go late game like they're not gonna end the game anytime soon unless they win this really big Roche fight. But uh, it would mean that most actually failed a bit because I don't see them getting five or bit right now. No, not well, that there's an opening, there's Ohio, the ball helped him set That's up for it, and Bulba just jumps up, there's a snowball available, yes, and Bulba's in a great position here, but TC letting down the call down, Ohio's still in the middle of this nice. one, but Black is down for the count. Axe will be stolen, Ohio, balls are slowing him down, these Necro units, they might be able to finish the job, Ohio, as he just decides to turn, so they have to cryptify the blast to Babel, and he actually blinks himself away to safety. Nice play with the team, yeah, very and they'll good. mop up the rest of the illusions, and, every, and uh, I mean, rest of the creep wave. Where is the Sunstrike, is it even available for the moment? It's off cooldown. That's what's very good about the Decrepify as well. It's like Head versus vision. physical damage, you can always Decrepify and blink out. Because, oh, he actually tried it. It was quite close. He, he, was, he was actually trying for the blink of Ohio into the base. Oh, okay. that, that was the timing for it. Because he, he had one melee creep that followed him underneath the tier 4 towers. So Black had information about it. It would have been a sick play. Awesome. Actually, I'm just going to do this quickly as well. Because we should be... Boom! Nice. And that'll stop our echo. It is. I mean, now they actually caught the the, the the black invoker, which is honestly a very big kill. They're getting really good kills right now, both of them. Like they, now they got two pickoffs, but Roche is not back, and it's very unfortunate for them. Um, I don't know. I, I think Fnatic is actually in a good spot right now. Like this team fight that they took in the base was really huge for them. Well, jump him. Oh, higher. Like, he's just trying to push the creep wave up and do... Can they actually make an opening? Can, can they actually go through the tier 3 tower? Is that possible? Mm. On, the, on the top... I, I, I know we've been talking time and time again where Fnatic should not go high ground until they get more of a pick-off, but how much of a pick-off do they need when they get when they get the invoker down? Is that meant to be the signal to five men and push? No, I think really the, the biggest objective right now is Roche. They should keep on... I think they're playing it right. They just have to keep on farming right now and just get those items that they need to actually contest the Roshan. And once they do, and if they win a fight there, then it's going to be good. Because right now, again, I don't think they should force anything. Like, Mouseport had a good opportunity. They actually... They they overextended it, but uh, yeah, now Fnatic is in a good position. Honestly, they just they need to keep on farming. This those hexes. Look at this. This left track has a hex now. It was a left track support, and now he gets. When they get those hexes on heroes, those dagger, then suddenly they're a scary lineup. Like they can actually catch mouse. Uh, the, now they're getting way more mobile. They're gonna get a dagger on this left track at some point. The Pugna is getting some good items as well. On, uh, I think Fnatic is in, in a very good position right now. I mean, the game is definitely better for them. Uh, yeah. It was a disaster a few minutes ago, and now it's actually, it looks better. It's a lot more even. We've got a Fnatic now. Oh, they're trying to actually turn this around a little bit more. They've already managed to repair a that's very large amount of damage in, in, in economy and in experience. But that's a very good play. They should go and take Roche right now. I mean, the Hawk is going to uh, spot them, but they have to They have to go for this play. The, they, it's not just the Hawk, too. That no, creep belongs this. to the Gyrocopter. Mm, the, so it's, it's, not, it's not their own. Really hard decision. They're going to go for it. Yeah, yeah, they, I, kill, they kill the trade at oh, the start. They're going to they have a crack at it. Oh, but they have a ward there. Yeah, this is not going to work. No, Mouse knows. And Pilot dies looking for him, too. Nah, yeah, All he's going to do is get one track on one of these heroes, and I'll be 100% certain about it. What mouse? Uh, what fanatic is up to? Mm, I don't know. That's the, what I was saying earlier. The problem with this lineup is that they can't snipe Roche. They, if they had a lineup, if they had mouse lineup, they would have taken Roche right now uh, by this time. But it's just gonna take them forever. It's never gonna work. They can't do this. I know. Like it, it has to be frustrating because they're going for the right play, but their lineup doesn't allow them to actually pull out this play. So, yeah, they just have to be more patient, honestly. Well, Charo sends it in a new creep. If it wasn't enough to have a range creep being the trader, that he sends a hill troll in now. Not even a summoner, it's just a normal hill troll. Hmm. And Mouse was checking rune spots too. Yeah, yeah they, they they're going to find themselves. it up on top of the cliffside. So Pilot, I will even blink up to get rid of these. He's got four staffs, so he'll get straight back down again. Yeah. And look at this, like Boba instantly, very smart play. He just goes and speed push the top lane. And they're going to have to defend, and then they're just going to get to Roche. Like, if you play it smart and you play it clean, 
most should get Roche easily. What Tonari can do is start getting boots of travels on heroes and like de fake a defense and instantly TP into the Roche pit. Oh, Pilot Eye, can he get it? He got the vision because of the Hawk and he knows this heart is flying down from on the courier. Oh boy. So he needs to find it, but the courier is actually going oh, the long way around. It's going back through yeah. the jungle. It's not gonna so they, they know what's going on. It's good that they keep on killing those creeps. They need to pressure most into thinking they're actually roaching, and the Beastmaster Hawk is never gonna get there. Oh, no, they top lane. Park, no. You should buy Boots of Travels. They actually have to TP back out again. I'm waiting for the, the TP disable. Pilot yeah. die. I thought he could have just four staffed in, thrown out the Shuri Toss, but decided against it. Good. No, run, run to Roche instantly. They have to run. They, this is, they're doing it. This is what they have to do. And honestly, if most, they need to go there. No, they need to fight. Fnatic needs to take this fight, and they know it. But they're so far away. Like, Roche on Zorin, they have like to one go. third of his life. It doesn't matter. Even if Roche dies, they have to do it. Mushi's coming in. EMP burn. That BKB is going to start straight away from Mushi. Okay. He doesn't do it. He's completely out of matter. Uh, Bottle charging up, but Roche is not dead yet. Way too sexy jumps out. The Hex would come in there from all the strike. The Black's already used BKB, but TC, the Ice Shards actually give him the cover fight and bring down Roche. Picked up the Aegis model. The Chief's on the deck at the moment. He got into the hands of the Beastmaster, and Lion has to fight back instantly. The call down is a beautiful possession. Fnatic smack back in the middle of it, and TT just fights the ground. Yeah. Bobble will drop, and Fnatic, they're actually taking through it until finally Black comes in with that meteorite. No they're splitting up the fight nicely with two players down for Fnatic. TC forced after a way to save it. That's Pile I Die helping from the cliff side, keeping the tracks up too. The ice wall pops down, stolen, but that's not really going to help. Mitre and Wade too. Actually flanking around the back, Mushy. He blinked forward, but he's stunned up for the moment. The rest of his teammates can't reach him in time. The rocket branch is down. Black kind of back off cooldown. So the down is but a huge stun from Way Too Sexy, wow. and they keep going. They're through KOXY as well. Let's track this fight's gone on so long he's already respawned again. And that's a big, big fight for Mouse Boss. It did cost them two buybacks, but they wiped the Fnatic lineup. Yeah, it was all about the timing. If I think Fnatic could afford to actually go into the Roche pit before it falls. They took the fight versus Aegis still, and it didn't look that bad, honestly. Mac, uh, I mean, Black did a really good job on this invoker. This defending blast did a lot. Uh, I think it was the right play from Fnatic. Uh, unfortunately for them, they really overextended. Like, they don't have to chase that far when they have no mana on DK. I mean, it's never gonna happen. How are you gonna actually kill someone? But, and then really insane impaled from way too sexy. He, uh, that was a ravage. Like he yep, impaled three heroes. So great, great days. And I mean, all in all, I think it's actually quite good for most sport, but it's not so bad for Fnatic yet again. I think it's still okay for Fnatic. They're still in a good position. They, they can still come back in this game. Man, I would keep your eyes very, very closely peeled on this bounty hunter. He just picked up a Lotus Orb. I can see Fnatic winning this game, honestly, and not oh. so hard. Like easily, they could, they could win this game. If most does, I don't think it's possible. If Ohio yeah. can actually fight the fire flames, hmm. which he can do so, they sneaked in and placed the ward. This ward is going to be Oh wait, is it? <laughs> Black was having another another look at it. Ohio knows. It's like they still have a lot of blossom charges, which is important. Uh, they have the axe on Pugna. That's a very good pickup. I mean, he didn't have it. He would have done a lot in the last fight. Uh, now they have this item is very scary. They have the heart on the DK. Last track is getting some items as well. Yeah, I mean, Fnatic, it's gonna be about the next rush again or some smoke fight, but it's really hard to catch Mouth off guard. I mean, they have the Bounty plus the, the Hawk. You kinda need to kill off Pylite Die before yeah. you can make any kind of plans. He's gonna start having better, like, uh, bigger impacts than just Vision uh, with the Bounty on it. Now he has the Lotus Orb, which is a very good pickup in this game, I think. It's very nice versus DK stun versus. Like, they have so much single target stuns. It's actually very nice. I would like to see the uh, Tuscar uh, ulti back, back on him. I don't know how that works. But uh, it has to be interesting. Yeah. And now most are just gonna farm. It's just gonna be about the next roach. But again, they they are out farming Fnatic. That's the problem with this. That's why that roach was so crucial. Because when they are actually waiting for the next roach, they get out farmed really heavily. So I am interested to see what's gonna happen too with this pug now, because he fi he's finished the Aghanim Scepter upgrade. Now. We look at Fnatic with the, with the next team fight. You're going up against Lotus Orbs, huge amount of team fight, huge amount of burst damage. You got your own as well. Is this a point where Pogner almost sacrifices himself and starts draining into the Lushrak or the DK to keep them alive? Mm, I think they have to be patient. Like, it's about kiting a bit. They really need to kite those BKBs. Like, they need to force Invoker to BKB, force the Garo to BKB, and then they go in and they fight. Uh, they lack this AoE control hero, unfortunately for them. They don't have a lot of control in the fights, that's the problem with their lineup, but... Uh, 
Oh, they're actually pushing again. What are they doing? This yeah, is they not are. gonna work. I mean, they're, they're probably forcing also, them back to base. I don't know. This if, is very hard. If you actually look at the manner as well of the DK, he is really, really low because he got hit by the EMP of the Invoker. Yeah, it's really hard for him to actually have enough mana to sustain. They don't have enough. They don't have any mana boots. It's the damn Octarine core as well. Like, it's a cooldown. Every 22.5 seconds, you can throw out an EMP. Yeah, you can. So it's every every creep wave that comes in, you're going to get burnt. And that's with the tornado, with the combination. It is super scary for this. Uh, it's really hard to push versus this. They've already backed up. That's why Black actually blinking himself forward. He got forced up as well by Pylite Die. Look for the tornado pick up over on uh, on Kichik. And Pylite keeps the tracks going. Bulba, they've end ended up putting the Lotus Orb over on him. The war comes into Johnny. And they'll pick up the Rubik and Fnatic. We're playing left for dead. He is down for the count. 50 seconds with no buyback. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal though. I don't think the mouse can push, but it's very... It's smart play from Fnatic, they're like, someone's gonna get caught anyway, so just go like suicide with the Rubik, go create some space so we can actually back with the course. He even bought again before he died so he didn't lose gold. It doesn't matter. It's obviously some good gold for, for Maul, especially because of the track. The track is not level 16, so that's also something because it does a difference with the gold as well. Um, it does more, it gives more gold to allies and the bounty hunter, but... Yep, there was a, it was a good pick oh, off. They jumped up, they found Pylite die with a Walrus Punch. Ohio trying to do it solo. Do they have enough? They can't get the stun off. In fact, the track getting yeah. stunned up at the same time. But That's they will have enough with the Pugna. It's a big kill because it's the, it's the game. I think Moss has a game ready, so yeah, they do. So never mind me. But it's actually good to get that game. And if they can get the next game, then it's a really huge kill because Norena Vision is going to do everything in, in this, at yeah. this stage of the game where any hero can die. The yeah, vision, vision. So yeah, with the two of them, like that's actually really heartbreaking though because they purchased the gem, like just before it and started. And just got it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's quite like that. Rubik's quite sad, but I mean, he would have died anyway, so it doesn't really waste so much gold. So that beastmaster, I know he's maxed out. I mean, he's maxed out. It's what you want to get on that beastmaster really hard. Yeah. And what do you get after? It's always a question, at least to me. I think it's very open, but those items are really coarse. Oh, okay, now they're going top. They're, yeah, they're beating up. They're being blast, pushing back that tusk up. He can't say KY, KYXY for the moment yet. Yeah, KYXY yeah. trying to stay alive. He can just keep draining, but it's still not enough to do the job. So the call down and Invoker being there. Necro units and Forge Spirits is difficult to fight. Well, they're going on them. Uh, really? They're know, not going to reach that. No, it's not going to reach. He does not have oh, enough snow. What a nice shard, though. He didn't, I don't know. Uh, they looked like they didn't believe in the shards, but... Yeah, they all, they forced a lot of TPs, they used the refresher, they got the Pugna, it's very good kills. And they're like removing some bloodstone charges, that's also quite key. Very good, I mean Mossport is, right now the problem that Fnatic has is that they're playing Mossport's game. Mossport, they want to play this game, they've played this game the last 10 games, or like 100 games they play, you know, this split push into, we punish whatever position and mistake the opponents do, so. Yeah, I think Mossport is very happy with the way the game's going right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. If they can just keep it going this way, maybe they can. Keep themselves in this tournament. Remember, this is one of the, this is the lower bracket. This is the losers versus the losers, as far as the group stage goes. So if you do lose this, you're out of X Games. And there's no gold medals for you. Yeah, and it's you don't want to be out after two best of ones. So they're probably f like both teams are going to fight. Well, on, to the, the, end. on the bright side, they can watch some great Dota and they can enjoy the rest of the events here at X Games if you do drop that's, out. That's for sure. So it's that, there is a small upside, but. You came here to win Dota, you didn't come here to watch, well actually you, know, you probably did come here to watch Monster Trucks. No, but <laughs> I don't you would so. watch Monster Trucks. <laughs> yeah, that's actually amazing, I'm looking forward to it as well. Mm, I like the decision from DK to go with Boots of Travels, I think they all need to get Boots of Travels right now, because yeah. it's really about map positioning more than items at this stage, I think. It's, it's probably also a team fight, because you buy back and you can just BT yourself yeah. straight back into the fight. No, exactly, it is, yeah, that's also a very big factor, but if they get like Travels and Bloodstones and they keep those Bloodstone charges up, they're gonna be in a very good position, and they're they're going for this play again. They just force, although they know they can't really get there. It's it's interesting. I don't know what they want to force multiple heroes back in base, maybe. Oh, they should blink with the son of black follow up stuff with the track snowball. They force up him up, which brings him in very very deep with the pulse nova. But you've got Fnatic fighting underneath the tier three tower. Is it enough? The Rubik's down, key chick so low with the bouncing oh, sherry toss out with the track going to work. They've lost two, and they're about to lose three with the sun track right on top of the dragon knight. Bob is there with all of his minions, it's basically an Avery right there. KYXY, the Grubber fight will buy him some time, but that just means the way two follows up with a stun. There's no drain, four heroes lost to Fnatic, and not a single hero was cost there for mouse sports. What a force tough. What a force tough, honestly. Like, that's force tough just won them the fight.
Like the, he was you just like that invoker was dead 100% with the Pugna damage without the force stab he was dead 100% like force stab into cooldown saved him huge play by Mosport it was probably way too sexy or Pilot I didn't I didn't see but either way it, I think it was Pilot big play really big play by the supports and and now they can they can afford so much more like it's not just the force stabs you've still got that glimmer cape that's in the hands of of uh, of way too sexy and the mass TP is now down in the bottom lane Pilot I picked up both Prince of Travel himself Bomb has already come down. Like, Black Trick the Necro units and Force Spirits as early as he possibly could. So this Creep Wave would push him before the DK was yeah. in a position where he'd be like, you know what, I can wait for my for, to just respawn. Now he's actually wondering if he's going to buy back. I just hope Mossport doesn't overextend because they have buyback on DK and they don't have the... F they have the form, actually, never mind. He could buy back and just surprise them and take a good fight into Roche. They're still missing way too sexy, though. Like, he's, he's coming in. It's just taking some time, man, with the Lightning and the Jarrah Cops. They jump yeah, on his, the pick up, the throw down, the sun's gonna miss from the track. The Roar slowing down the track too, so we can't follow up with the Edict nice the advantage. Big pass over, Rubik. the warning of the Rubik down, DK did fight back, four stop, cannot save TC, but Black, there's that new Deathlink Blast going to work, but Mushy really wants his scalp. Her turn into a frog though, that's gonna make life a little bit more difficult, and now Sports getting the hell out of here. They can't lose more, because Roshan only just respawned. No, they need to get the Roche, but they have buybacks, they didn't get enough, I feel. I mean, it was a good play, they, even though he had 10 seconds left, on the buyback. I think the play was to actually surprise them, them commit, kill them and get Roche. And it would have been a really, really good trade for Fnatic. It was their way back into this game. Yeah. The problem is that they got only the Gyro and he has whatever he needs to actually Roche. And they don't have BKB, they don't have DK form. So there's no way they rush into the Roche fight. They're going to lose it as well. Moss did not commit enough. Uh, or didn't lose enough from this. So unfortunately they tried what was a very good play in my opinion, but they that it didn't work for them. So right now the game is reset. I mean, they're on the backside again, Fnatic, and it's really hard again for them. So let's see how they, like, what's their move right now? Because I, I, it's tough. <laughs> it's even more tough. I think that's the second Lotus Orb on the way. Oh, for the Lion or what? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and in fact, really now we get one for Tuska. We might get three in total for the game. That's a quick blink up from, from the Lashrike. Couldn't get the Hex over on Black. Yeah, that's a shame. So he gets away to safety, and he didn't have teammates behind him. With the EMP tomato dropping down, there was no way he was going to have any kind of friends. Yeah, very, very good try. They're going to try to get the Roche. I mean, it's their best chance now. I feel like, yeah, they're going to try it. It's a good thing. They have the Medallion, Mouse, they know, but look at this. It's so strong. Scouts and they've got to move quick. It's They're going to be really quick. At this stage of the game, it's very slow. Black, well here uh, comes your tornado. So it's going to catch two of the players up in the air. So Rubik and the Pug, they're going to hit the deck. Oh Roshan's still not down so yet. The rest of Mouse was signed to arrive. The Blast's not doing enough. But they're not fighting. The Beastmaster isn't here. Bulber has no intention of coming in. Or maybe he does. He could that potentially is. beat into the creep wave on the bottom lane. But no, the fact they're just watching. And wow, well, okay, Ohio. Jump up, there's your shards. He's just snowballing in the way too sexy. And then the extra move up from Mushi. They catch out the line and they gotta bring him down. They're able to do so. 90 seconds on the sideline. Five X available, definitely blast him. That's a good Boba. beautiful. Boba is just ratting. That's the problem with this thing. He is just important top, but it's very good. He's, He's gonna, gonna get the racks. Yeah, that's a meter X. That's Does actually two two side lane melee racks down in Ohio. He's in a horrible position. He can snowball. Lotus all. They don't want to attack him. They'll wait this one out and then wait, did he just He's gonna blink out? Right? It's, it's snowball down, and they're coming to Ohio. That was, wait, Pylai die caught? Of course he got the Lotus! So that's why we saw two snowballs. Get that one to check in your brain. And Ohio, the sun strike's coming in, oh and boy. he snowballs up again. And he's moving over to Pylai die, gets a double stun, but Ohio will finally be brought down. That's the game. The game is down, yep. which is a big deal. Bubble should move for it. Do they have another one? They've got two on Pylai die now, mm -hmm. and there's one over on the last track. Okay, they do have one. <laughs> so many Lotus Orbs. It was a good play to get the Roche, they have it now on the DK, the cheese on the left track, so that's very good for them. They lost the mini in the process, which was the problem with the chase, but yet again, it's like, if you start porting to defend the racks, then the Beastmaster is going to port in, and they're going to catch someone. Yep. And, yeah. I mean, it was probably the, the right play to just go on them and not let them actually take the fight, I mean, most sport that is. But, um, yeah, it's, re it's really tough, but I think Fnatic is doing a good job at holding on, honestly. Yeah. Well, there's not much more they can do, but no, one, really one big fight can still change it. Yeah. Like, one big fight for Fnatic, and they can come back, and they can probably get two sets of Raxxas. Because we're hitting this point where we've almost reached an hour in the game, mm. and if mouse sports end up going down, they're down for a very long yeah. time. I think Fnatic can win this game. They still can win. They have this rat problem, honestly, yeah, which is a big problem for them. So they need Boots of Travels on everyone. They have it on the last track sooner. They have it now. And they have this di blink hex. I really like this. I think it's very nice that he got the hex and the blink. They need this catch potential. That's what they need. He can get a BKB now if he feels like it or get whatever heart or just tank up. But they need that.
ganking potential. But like, Pagna, he's gonna have to go the same way, in my opinion. Like some travel dagger hex, but instead that mech that mech doesn't do so much right now, and a support can get it. Careful with for the, the curry. Careful with the. I don't know if Pilot Dai actually caught vision of that or not. Now I think he did. Yeah, but this courier is being very, very elusive, darting from branch to branch. You see on the Beastmaster, good pickup. They're gonna have the Lotus over on the line quite soon as well. But you also get Shiva's, you get Shiva's gun over on the Pugna too. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not a fan of it, but I mean, I understand. DK is going for the Daedalus, but he'll only pick this one up, probably after the Aegis the Immortal is burnt. Yeah. Because he's got the money for the whole thing now, but the courier's already been set back. Actually, it's coming out. It's coming out for the run. But that Beastmaster is so fat, like he's, he's very, very fun for an offlaner. He's having a really good game, and this Invoker is actually even more fun. But he's maxed out though, that's the good thing about it. I, I don't know, I think he kind of wants to keep that Bling Dagger. I think Bling Dagger in this game is very important. Yeah. They're all gonna keep their Blinks, and it's... It's almost hard to call this Beastmaster fat. I almost want to say slenderly fit, yeah. because his maneuverability is just so big. Like yeah. he's, he's not like the Juggernaut that takes a while no. to warm up. No. Like he just moves so quickly. I like the AC pickup from Boba, I think it's gonna do a lot. And he can he can rack them alone. That's the problem with the with like Invoker can rack them by himself. Beastmaster can as well. So and they are they like Mouseport is in a position when they can actually afford to take a fight four on five and drag it. Like it's fine for them. And then they're just gonna rack them. Yep. So I don't know, Fnatic they have to be very, very disciplined with the defense and when they have to really assess like Calculate the moves they go for. They can't just be like, okay, we catch someone, let's go for him. This is never gonna work. They need to make sure they can't get fat it. Is it a real wise decision for this DK to go in for something like the Daedalus? I'm understanding he wants some quick kills, but you're also looking at a gyrocopter who just spent, okay, just bought BTs. Um, yeah. But he, he could just buy a Batalisman of Evasion as well. Yeah, for sure. No, maybe the MKB would have been good as well, honestly. But I, I do, he needs damage. That's for sure. He needs damage. Mjolnir is not that bad either. I think Mjolnir is a very good item on DK as well. Mm. Oh, yeah. getting Lincoln Spears too. Man, everyone's getting stacked. Yeah, they're getting very fat. And that last track, honestly, he got this game because of the fight top. If if it wasn't for that fight, he wouldn't be that fat. But look at this now. Now he's second in the network. And he's like co a core player as well, right? He used to be a core player. He was the second bit player for quite some time. This Kachik Imbav. So yep. he's definitely going to have a good impact with that left track in the fights. And Ohio, he now took the support position more or less. I mean, Tuscar is not the best for him. He does have a Lotus Orb. He actually poured it in. Yeah, they're, they're mm -hmm. coming for mid with the Lincoln Sphere over on the yeah, Lestrade. They're, they're, they're feeling so stable. The good thing, like the really good thing for Fnatic is that they have the tier 2 mid. So there is no way Mossport actually gets their mid drags, you know, by just, you know, going bottom lane or something. So it's a very good thing for Mouse, uh, for Fnatic and they need to protect the tower. I think it's very important. Look where the courier's moving. Yeah, this is, okay, so the DK is going to defend the mid at the bottom. And one more breathe fire should do the rest in. of the work. And the courier's moving into a position where it can drop the Daedalus down. He's not moving it in too close, or else the Beastmaster Hawk's probably going to be scouting it out. And they, he could just lose the entire Daedalus. He doesn't even have buyback on the DK. This has Wait, to be all in. Did like he just it. lose the Aegis? It could work. He lost it. Yeah. Okay, so timed out. They're going in. Th this could work, honestly. Oh, Idris is snowball, but already way too sexy. The Lion's down for the there count. You've got buybacks available at the moment for everyone on Mouse Boss. No higher. Black jumps oh, in, boy. but the Earl Orbs it just protects him. Black actually gets the BKB off in time. Oh, so that's stuff from the, from the Latrap won't do enough. Boba is boarding. They're actually pressured a bit. Now they have all five heroes in base. This is the perfect situation for Fnatic. I'm not saying they can win the fight, but this is what they, they hope for. They get the stun. Roll oh, over on the track and it rolls him back again. They got the Lotus Orb off in time and now Snowball up into TC. But the BKB will trigger from him with the Deathling Blast. Black refresh room. He's going to go again. A secondary Deathling Blast. The track. He's so low, but he gets a cheese off in time. Mushing is also so low inside the base. They're picking him out. It's like, please help him. And KYXY wow. is basically Uber charging Medic DF2 style right in the Dragon Eye, keeping him alive, and now even shield him up even more. But Mouse Balls, they're buying oh back if they need to. Already the line back. Now Bulba's low. The eyes shut up. Bulba, he can't stay alive. He won't be protected by that bail. And now Black also backing up an Ember. He's right to the front lines. And the Lightning, he gets the kill. The buybacks are all coming up from Mouse Balls. All five players have more back in this engagement. And maybe Mushy, we're going in again. It's a reinsert with Ohio with Warren's touch, pushing TC up. They're going to fall inside an Ember. He's back in again too. Looking for the pulse there. They're losing. 
You've got the dragon form up from Mushy. He feels like it's enough. The attack on the way, too sexy. The four stops keeping him out of trouble. The TC, he's the man being set up. Ohio, Aura's punch up. They still haven't killed the gyro. 18 seconds until he can get himself back up again. But then the glimmer isn't enough. The breeze fired now. They can see him. They got TC down. No buyback. Two minutes. A blink in by Mushy. Finds another one. Moving over to Bulba. Do they have oh, enough? Yeah, they come. Either. The snowball coming to the beast master. Mushy, they keep no. going to work. Now sports. They're in so much trouble. They're dead for so long. They haven't enough. Objective base gaming. The rise of the down, but they're going for the GG push. They're going for the T4 towers. They've got to keep black out this fight though. With double BKP to Ohio. He's in too deep. Tricks up the Necro units. The T4 towers still not down for the count, but Ohio down to the Sunstrike. One T4 tower down. Fnatic keep going at it, but do they have enough power left? They might be out of steam. They're finishing off the racks at the moment. The track might be back, but how long until it returns to fight? Right now. BT's in. They need to finish the job. The T4 towers are on the sideline. And now they're from both teams honestly that was just I'm speechless like that was that was actually a madness you, that were, was madness. you were saying it the entire time Fnatic could win oh my Fnatic god could win I can't one believe fight it actually did it. could win it for them that was like four fights combined into one